In this presentation, we introduce a robust and flexible skull stripping tool called SynthStrip, which can rapidly remove all non-brain matter from a landscape of 3D image types that range across modality, contrast, resolution, and subject population. We make use of a learning-based strategy that involves generating a vast array of synthetic, whole head training data to optimize a neural network that is completely agnostic to the contrast of real images. Now, skull stripping is common in neuroimage analysis, and it's a fundamental pre-processing step in many pipelines like FreeSurfer, FSL, and AFNI, since many downstream algorithms perform much better by being able to focus entirely on pertinent brain matter voxels. One such class of algorithms is image registration, which might perform poorly in the presence of non-brain tissue, like the neck, which deforms non-rigidly and can interfere with an accurate alignment. Other methods that benefit from extracted brain matter include bias correction, cortical surface placement, and scan de-identification. Now, skull stripping methods have been well explored, but many implementations come with particular downsides. So classical methods, which use a per-image optimization, often rely on strong assumptions about the input's intensity and spatial features, and they can sometimes fail substantially if caught in local minima, leaving large regions of non-brain tissue or, conversely, removing very important regions of cortex. More recent deep learning approaches to skull stripping have great potential, as they can learn global optima for accurate brain matter extraction, but their performance deteriorates on images with characteristics that are unseen during the training procedure. So, for example, a learning-based model trained only for T1-weighted 1mm isotropic images will perform poorly when tested on T2-weighted contrasts. And even if these T2-weighted images were included during training, the model will likely fail, for example, on image types uncommon in the research setting, like thick-sliced fluid attenuated scans used for clinical purposes. So to benefit from the great potential of learning-based methods while addressing the requirement for a diverse training data set, we make use of a strategy that encourages a model to generalize across any image type by synthesizing arbitrary training data from pre-computed whole head segmentations. And so to generate an arbitrary brain image from a segmentation map, we first simulate spatial variability by applying a random nonlinear transform Next, we sample voxel values from random Gaussian distributions that correspond to each segmentation label, and then further apply random spatial blurring, downsampling, and a set of image corruptions to produce our final training image. With this method, we can produce very different training images just from a single initial source segmentation. But in practice, we use a handful of source segmentations generated for 80 adult and infant subjects to produce an essentially endless stream of training data with widely variable contrast, anatomy, and resolution. I want to emphasize that our goal is not to model realistic brain scans, but instead to generate training images that far exceed the realistic range, forcing the SynthStrip network to learn to adapt to any image type. And so, Using the synthesis strategy, we optimize a 3D unit that estimates for a given input image a corresponding signed distance transform, defining the distance to the skull boundary. So at evaluation time, we can easily extract voxels within a given distance from the brain. Now, when evaluating a trained synthtrip model on real brain scans, it performs with high accuracy and robustness to a landscape of image types. These include various MR acquisitions like adult T1-weighted, T2-weighted, stack of slice flare, proton density and diffusion images, as well as infant images and even CT and PET scans. We compare SynthStrip to a handful of popular skull stripping baseline methods using a set of nearly 600 images spanning modality, resolution, age, and pathology. We measure accuracy by computing similarity between estimated and manual brain masks obtained in a completely separate manner from the training data. When considering both the dice overlap and the surface distance between these masks, SynthStrip outperforms the baseline methods by a substantial margin. This predominance is in part due to the tendency of SynthStrip to avoid substantial mislabelings that occasionally occur in the baseline methods. By learning robust, large-scale spatial features of representative brain masks, the model consistently predicts boundaries that are of realistic and expected brain shape. With SynthStrip, we can now robustly skull strip 3D scans of any type, and we release our method as a command line utility in the FreeSurfer distribution and as a standalone tool. For more information, please feel free to visit the SynthStrip website.